In this tutorial, you will learn how to easily create your own recipes using the in-game interface and Minecraft plugin Custom Crafting. To get started, you need to download the plugin. To do this, download the Custom Crafting plugin from the Modrinth website, which you can find in the description. Additionally, on the same website, you need to install an additional file called Wolfie Utilities for the Custom Crafting plugin to work. Now, you need to install the plugin on your server. To do this, make sure that your server's type is compatible with the plugin by installing the spigot or paper core. Then, on your server control panel, go to the file manager and find the plugins folder. Move the installed plugins there and restart the server. Before starting to create crafts, let's first go over the plugin commands. PerCC opens the graphical interface of custom crafting. PerCC and various options for this plugin, for example, PerCC Reload reloads the plugin data including items, recipes, language and graphical interfaces slash CC lockdown enables lockdown mode if enabled all custom recipes will be locked and disabled slash CC give gives the specified custom item to a player there is also a recipe book designed to help your players view custom recipes using the command slash recipes after familiarizing ourselves with the commands we can now start creating crafts so to begin enter the command per CC in the chat to see the main window of the plugin here you can see many features, from settings of the window itself, where you can adjust the background, language, and window theme, to crafting on the workbench, furnaces, grindstone, brewing stand, anvil, campfire, cauldron, stone cutter, and smithing table. To create your craft, click on the workbench. Now, you are in the crafting creation window. On the left, you need to set the craft you want, and on the right, the item you will receive. You can also configure whether the recipe should have only one shape, whether it will be displayed in the regular Minecraft craft recipe book and much more. After you have set the desired craft, click on the book with a feather to save the recipe. Then enter the command slash wooey and specify the folder in which the recipe and its name will be saved. Now you can use this craft in a regular workbench. You can also enable or disable the crafts you have created and existing Minecraft crafts. To do this, go to the main plugin window and click on this book. Select the ender chest with the Minecraft label which represents the Minecraft crafts folder and disable the craft you desire. The custom crafting plugin is a powerful tool that allows you to create custom items and recipes for your Minecraft server. With this plugin, you can add new content to the game. 